uh, maturation status of the urinary bladder. See, this is the transfer section of the urinary bladder, and now I am rotating the probe 90 degrees. This is the longitudinal section, and you can see that this is the lumen. This is the urine that is present now after maturation and this was initially before maturation. This is pre-void, this is post-void, almost the uh, urinary bladder is empty so he does not have urinary outlet obstruction. He is evacuating the bladder completely and unfortunately though he is having a lot of uh, areas of echogenesis within the urinary bladder. I do pray for a benign cause to come out though uh, my sixth sense is saying that these are transitional cell carcinomas as he has remained a heavy smoker throughout and these are uh, and now you just see another thing that pre-void if you scan the patient without holding the urine uh, without urine in the uh, urinary bladder, you will not be able to justify or pick the pathologies as you are seeing with a full bladder. So always try to scan with full bladder whenever you have to, the patient has the urinary complaints. So uh, the benefit of, is quite in front of you and it's quite understandable why we ask the patient to fill the urinary bladder and then we see post in post maturation you only see thick walls the irregular of the urinary bladder with one ecogenic area so uh, your report is not going to be accurate so see the wall this is really an ecogenicity of one of these but it is not invading the posterior wall so <coughs> we conclude by sonography this is a case of either poly, uh, clots in the urinary bladder, number two polyps in the urinary bladder and number three transitional cell carcinoma whereas with no urinary outlet obstruction and no mass effect on the uh, urethrovesical junctions, kidneys are normal, no coprolean seen, no regional adenopathy seen, no ascites seen. So my impression is that these are going to come out to be as transitional cell carcinomas. Anyway, good luck to the patient and thank you.